Good kitten internet. We're right back where we left. Excuse me, lift off? That's weird. Oh, that's right, yeah. Currently, Luca's the only one in the party. <clears throat> that explains things. Okay. I didn't want to do that. Um, so, where we last left off, um, Irving had us arrested, or had Ashley arrested specifically. Am I going the right way? Nope. The other direction. That's the off limit sector. Um, Irving had Ashley arrested to infiltrate Illsville Prison, which is. I keep doing that. I will get used to the chateau. It's just gonna take me a little while. Um, had us arrested so we can exfiltrate Brad out of it, which turns out there was a prison breakout happening at the same time. And at least in. Nobody said anything about. I mean. Ashley asked whether it was a part of Brad's breakout plan, but it doesn't appear to be. Anyway, what we need to do is go back to Mary Abul. Oh, you're not letting me fall off. So we can give people personal skills. Hooray for personal skills! Lilka gets her second one at this point. P.S. Alright, and once she hits level 9, we'll get her third point and not have to care about leveling her again. As in, she'll keep leveling, not she won't level at all. And Brad has her first. His first. Pronouns are hard. So, um... Oh, uh, uh hello. I, uh, uh, nice weather we're having! In my whole opinion, actually his friends have the best. I'm quite really... Oh, so you're the dude's friend. I didn't know the dude had other friend, any other friends besides me. Anyway. Um, we might as well get some upgrades going on. Just on a me that I needed to go to the same spot. Derp, 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 derp. All right. do for now, and Ashley, I'm not even going to bother with a weapon upgrade for right now. Alright, so here's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to go to Under Traffic, which is where we need to go next according to the plot, and we are going to encounter random encounters. However... We're gonna make sure that Ashley's dead every random encounter that we hit. And the reason for this is fairly simple. Because then he won't gain XP and we want Ashley at level three. Balloons! Actually, there's a good chance Ashley would survive balloons when it... Hey, never mind, we're just running away. We're going to go against harder enemies first. Let's actually head to under traffic before we go anywhere. Ah, jumpy. Very jumpy. With the glitchiness. I don't remember where anything's at, by the way. I mean, Wild Arms 1, I sort of remember where things are, but Wild Arms 2, it's kind of fuzzy. Because I've only played through the game twice. And that was kind of one after the other. So yeah, that's the Sword ch well, Chapel. Sword Cathedral, excuse me. Should have paid attention to where we last left off the video. No. Huh. Found something. We found 100 Gela. Aw, yes. And we found... Three Gela. 
I think under traffic is here. Yes, under traffic. Welcome to under traffic. So this is the point where we're going to start leveling a little bit. Wooden box is full of fire medicine. Fire medicine. Aw, oh, yes, blow up all the things. Oh, I should have moved it first. Whoops. And we don't have the watch like we did in Wild Arms 1, so we actually have to move things the hard way. Let's kick the box into place and then fire medicine. So you might be wondering why I have um, Brad in the back right now. That's because he's not strong enough to survive too many random encounters. He's three levels lower than Lilka after all. So I want to make sure he survives so he gets XP and people in the back get XP. Triad, okay. I might do too much damage. So there's certain enemies that will kill me dead. Okay, yeah, no, we're running. <laughs> Apparently I didn't hit one of those enemies that will kill me dead. Totally did it wrong. Time to go back and start it again. I do miss having the stopwatch to redo rooms, where I don't have to run all the way back. Okay, what I need to do is move this one into here instead, or get this one where it is. Then move this around. Sliding block puzzles! Woo! What is it with 90s RPGs and obsessing over sliding block puzzles anyway? Uh, one more. Over. 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 Battle, please not dryads. Pencil worms, that's what I'm looking for. They should nearly one shot Ruby. Or. Ashley. In fact, while we're at it, you know what would help? Oh, I can't actually remove... Oh, I can't remove the crappy gear. Oh, well, first off, you no longer have anything like that. In fact, can I remove your weapon? No. Dang it. Ashley, just defend. So yeah, they do... 29 to Lilka, and they're only attacking Lilka, because of course they are. Uh, Lilka, just heal yourself. Rudy. Oh. Keep calling him Rudy, damn it. Ashley. Um, defend. I can't scan. That would be really nice if I had allies. I don't. Flame Tom. You're doing 26 damage while Ashley is defending. Good. More death to Ashley, please. I wish I could just attack Ashley directly. 
received some type of message. Not sure why. Come on, Ashley's nearly dead. You can do this. There we go. Problem solved. Notice that Spark is no longer an area of effect attack. Oh, I forgot to actually bind my crest magic now that I think about it. Punch. 30 XP, 120 Gela. Ashley is face planted on the floor. I'll be okay, and I can just the next city do the crest graph. Anyway, move this down, make it go boom, go off into the darkness. Side path. Anything we can do in this side path right now? Doesn't look like it. Or can we? Bam! Wrong. Bam! Wrong. Multi blast. The multi blast is a bayonet cartridge for use by Ashley. Items use provides new ammunition for the bayonet. Attack the enemy using these special skills. So, yep. We now have Multi Blast, which is. What was that anyway? Is it item technically? Yes. And that allows Rudy to... Or Rudy. Damn it, I keep doing that. Ashley to gain a new arm. Multi-Blast is the group area of effect attack, so it's the equivalent of Prism Laser from Wild Arms 1. Anyway, kabam! So something that we're also going to need to start being careful of is not hitting crystals. We don't want to be healed. And the reason why we don't want to be healed is that Ashley is going to constantly be at one hit point, and that's what we want. Now we can give Ashley Grudyev. That way he can guardian, or use his guardian ability. Defensor, there we go. And that will mean that he will take whatever the first hit is, no matter what. Um, Brad, you can smash hit, sure. We'll try that. There we go. Oh, he took a zero. That's unfortunate. Is he just going to take zero this turn? Uh, okay, maybe that wasn't the greatest of ideas. Anyway, smash it. Die. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. Okay, Ashley's dead. It's fine. <laughs> We're fine again. 
Everything's fine. How are you? How are you, anyway? Uh, let's see. This is still the same day that I recorded the last one, so it's Saturday, September 12th. Flame tongue on Brad. Oh, no. That hurts. But you're dead. And yes, they have different poses. There's no booty shake, though. Anyway, what I want is to move this way back. Here. Because that is something that could be exploded. I believe. I'm going off of memory here, so my memory's not the greatest. Secret room one, cheap and unlocked. The moonstone. The moonstone's very handy right about. Not now, but very soon. Moonstone's very important for this run, specifically. Anyway, we need to boot, the, boot to the head this again. Uh, why am I only speaking in memes? Treasure chest first. Treasure. Must get treasure. Not actually. Stupid perception. Map scope. If you press select on the world map, you'll be able to use the map scope. The white dot is your character. The nearby regions are shown with your position in the center. Red dots on the map are the towns and castles already known. Yellow section from the center white dot is the map direction. In other words, we finally got a map. Yay, maps. Okay, I want to try something. What happens if I only have Ashley in the front and die against the gob? Gobs of gobs! Bonk. Hey, look, Ashley's dead. Oh, Ashley healed? Duh. What? That must have been an earth attack or something. Let's try that again. I'll unequip the guardian. This actually doesn't need it anymore. Let's try that again, shall we? Goblin gobs. You actually hit this th No, you're heal- What the hell? I have no idea what's going on. I don't know of any enemy that heals me. They're definitely healing me. You're dead. Thank you. Mm, that hits the hurt. Yep. I am so confused. I don't know what Gobs and Gobs does. It's something I could probably learn. I'm sorry. I was going to walk out, come back in, and use that. Use the exploding boob booms as, uh, excuse me, the fire medicine as a bridge. Must not hit crystals. Mm. Ah, save point. Please save my game. Somebody on the ground. 
Someone has collapsed. We've got to help him. Yeah, right at this point of the game starts becoming a silent protagonist. Uh, it'll be okay. Nothing life-threatening. Can't leave him as is. Can you move him? I can't do anything drastic, but I'll give it a shot. Both the town of Maria and Valeria Chateau are too far away. What do you want to do? What? 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 What is this noise? Um, isn't that the communicator we just got from Irving? So, we have the call feature. It's me. Give me a set of support. Ashley here. There's been a cave-in, but I think we'll be okay. I think he'll be okay with our help. You said he. What's going on? We found a traveling salesman who was trapped by the cave-in. But from here, it's too far to go to the Valeria Chateau or the town of Maria. And yet, we can't just leave him here. Oh, these communicators have a tracer feature. Hold on a second. Good. You're near an exit that leads to the south through under traffic. From there, go southeast to Demsen, an old mining town at the base of a mountain. A lot closer than the Valeria Chateau or the town of Maria. I want you to take the injured man there. Can you do it, Ashley? Roger, I'll do my best, sir. Yeah, it's literally just the opposite side. Uh, hang in just a little longer. Damson City from here, it's southeast. Let's hurry. So we need to go to the southeast, to Damson City. See, we have a little mini-map now. And if we hit the... Which button was for the map? I guess it's just the minimap? Select doesn't seem to be doing anything. Anyway, southeast. It's in this direction. See? Now we're looking at desert like terrain. I bet it's the green splop. Splop? Green splop. Three gobs? Oh no, there's so many gobs. Brad's actually not doing so great right now. Ashley, why don't you give Brad a healing berry? Oof, if they all attack Brad... Okay, yeah, we're fine. Oh. Just attack Ashley already, please. Thank you. Gobs, are you gonna heal me? I healed by seven. I'm so confused by what the hell that ability is. Smash it! Okay, they have somewhere between 101 and 126 hit points. Got it. Or whatever the number Ashley actually hit for. Or right, Lilka. Damn it, brain! Gobs of gobs! Why is it healing and then doing damage? I really don't understand what the hell they're doing. Brad leveled up to level four. Cool. Good job, Brad. Nine hit points. Hey, look, there's something there. Meow. That totally looks like a Wild West town, if I've ever seen one. See, look, we finally have a Wild West theme. Yep, this place damned and used to be a hustle and bustle mining town. Must be boring for you, though. Save point. Yes, memory service, please save my game. I wonder if the memory service made all the naming ways go extinct. Or not naming ways, the, um, safe birds.
What's wrong? Is that person wounded? Clink's on the north side of the street. Doctor's a little strange, but he knows his stuff. But first, we go to the Magic Chapelle. Magic Chapelle? Magic Chapelle? Purple. Welcome to my shop. You know, just having a crest is not enough. You have to be able to use magic. You're right. Let's get ourselves a um, break. And Vortex. Is that all I need right now? Uh, oops, no, I need to erase shield. Race revive because that's not actually useful for him. Damn it! I... Create. Um, I want mm, quick. There we go. And for the crest graph, I want rise and shine. Rise and shine is the awakened spell from Wild Arms One, and that will eventually become extremely useful. And we're gonna want it on somebody who doesn't cast crest magic. So. Let's do some arm upgrades while we're at it. Um, well, first off, refill all my bullets. Yes, please. Next up, uh, actually, no, let's buy equipment before we upgrade arms. That would make sense. I'm learning from my Le Poor days. Not much, but I am learning. Uh, in. We should probably stop by the inn. 10 gela per night per guest. Three people, it's 30 gela. Yeah. It's a remix of the sleep song from Wild Arms 1. I'm a merc who wanders Gaia alone. I love being alone. Nobody bugs me and I can do whatever I please. Darn tootin' Becky, if that's what you want in life, go for it. Nothing wrong with drinking at noon, thank you very much! And now, if you just get the booty call, finding treasure is easy as can be. That's right. The radar in this game is called the booty call. Gallows pole. With flickering lights. They also flicker in the real, and the non-emulated version. I'll have enough stuff. Being stingy is the mark of a real amateur, you know. You should just give me all your money. So we have satisfactory removal items. Uh, do we actually need any right now? First off, let's sell the full revive. We don't need it right now. And that's a lot of money, and we're going to be buying a whole bunch of things. That's right, we need... Uh, a whole bunch of medicine. 15 medicine will work. All right. Um, I have one of everything except for the pixie parasol. Okay. And sell off everything except for the jean jacket. Yep, I understand why I'm not selling off the jean jacket. Although, can't I mystic some of these things? I should get into a battle and double check to see what I can mystic and what I can't before I sell things off. One moment. Right, move out of my way. I'm going to try to get into a battle really fast. That's why I save stated. I'm just going to reload the state.
That totally looks like it should have been a spot or something. Uh, order. Do I have any... No, I don't. Okay. I'm just going to have to take some hits so I can get enough force points. That's not quite enough yet. That is. Ow. Why am I taking... Goblin gobs might be based off of level, maybe? Like, even versus odd? I don't know. Anyway, Mystic. I can't Mystic any of these things. Got it. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, I know Mystic is weaker in Wild Arms 2 than it was in Wild Arms 1, so that's not too surprising. But we're not selling the Jane Jacket because we need to be able to give Rudy crappy defense. upgrade the bazooka now because we actually will be using brad's arm probably quite a bit in fact ah. upgrade not refill good old prisoner 666 let's go ahead and upgrade this a couple of times that'll do doesn't this look like something that i should be able to do here Alright, so, um, anything I need to worry about here? Um, let's just search for things here. It'd be nice once I get the booty call, but I don't have that yet. But that is what I wanted. Mystic Word. Aw, yes. Time for books. Head over to the Gunner's Heaven, which is a reference to a different game. You talking about the teleport gem sold at the item shop? No. It's not a gem that you can use to transport yourself instantly to towns that you've already been to. So yeah, using the teleport gem means you're spending a hundred gela to teleport over to another town. That's it. Of course, I've never been to a town besides Damson City, so such a thing wouldn't do me any good. Yeah, you can only use it to bring you to towns a group leader's been to. Be careful now. So, the reason why they specified that is to make sure that you can't teleport to the town, uh, Tabak Village that Brad's been to, or, um, I can't remember the name of the town that Loka was in. I can look at the saves, but it's not that big a deal. Till a little while ago, we had a good living mining empathite. That's all gone. There's nothing in that mountain that can make me a living off of. Well, we do. Yeah, for your own profit, I'll join you if it ain't too hard or dangerous. My brother and I used to be mercs, you know. Now I've settled down into the life of a waitress. Don't you think this apron looks good on me? I don't think of it. Why don't you drop by my house sometime? I might get a lead on that treasure. What treasure? Came here looking for some way to make a profit, but I didn't know how dead this place is. Welcome, stranger. You want something to drink? I don't remember this at all. Think there's enough one hear some good gossip? Northeast of Damson City is a strange building, I hear. You might like, you might be interested. So yeah, this entire place, I'm just seeing. Milk. You've seen some hard battles. Really? I had something to tell you, good to tell you too. So, this is a reference to the first Contrail game which is Gunner's Heaven, 
Um, the two characters, the one here and the one over there, are the two main characters of the game. Uh, coincidentally, Axel here is supposed to have blue hair. That's where the blue-haired character comes from. Definitely something in here. Did I miss a barrel? Yeah, there is a barrel here. Mittens! Aw, oh, yes, mittens. Increases defense. Set of curiosity. Can Ashley also wear mittens? Yes. Interesting. Also, Ashley's luck is bad, Lilka's luck is bad, and Brad's luck is normal. Cool. I have no way to increase that right now. Uh, is there anything else that I want to do? I want to figure out what in the world that email was. You come to make in this town to make a living too? Information is the key to success, I hear. Where the hell did that accent come from? Whatever. Huh? Recognize this person from earlier? Oh, you have the perfect base for it! The perfect fighting machine ready to meet and overcome any obstacle. Just perfect backup Ashley, who sometimes lacks in bravery. Wait, this person knows Ashley. A cute girl like you is in league with Ashley? Still, you might want to do something about your parents. Shall I aid you? What's wrong with Lilith's parents? At last we meet. You must know that comets foreboding ill have divided heaven and earth. With the passage of time comes a fragment of eternal time. It exists within you, too. What? Again, we're not supposed to understand that, although that's also badly translated. I don't know what it's supposed to be translated as, but not that. And it was doing pretty well a long time ago, but now it's more of a ghost town. The most famous relic of that time is the Broadcast Tower, with, which uses Empathite. Also, this may be a ghost town, but I swear there's more people here than there are in all of Maria Bull. <laughs> Although I don't know what country Damson's actually a part of. Damson might be a part of Maria Bull. I'm just checking everywhere, by the way. Ah, personal skills. But only Brad's leveled up, so there's not much we can do about that right now. And we're going to have to do some grinding, actually. Because we really need... Those strangers just came and broke into the tower. Unbelievable. Nope, that chair's in unpassable. That's right, unpassable. We're generally good-hearted folks, but sometimes we aren't the most clever ones. If someone's up to no good, you should take care of them right away. Uh, yeah. I really... I really wish I knew more about Japanese so I can play this in Japanese. There's actually an add-on for... Um, the emulator style that I'm choosing. I just realized that this has just been back the entire time. With no Maya sitting here. That's unfortunate. There we go. Um, I should... I really wish that I knew Japanese so I can play it that way. And there is an add-on for the emulator that I'm using that lets you use Google Translate in games. So I actually can play some Japanese games, but not dialogue heavy like this one. The, I'm not going to get a better translation from Google Translate than actual translators, even with how badly translated this game is. So yeah, that's a character. She's wearing a mask. So we have no idea what she looks like. Also heavy clothing, standing in the shade. Well, here's the Damson City Clinic. Okay, that actually is where I need to go. I don't know, I'm used to playing RPGs. I don't want to go where I should go. One 
moment we need to split up. What's this, emergency? Yes, it's an emergency. Please help. Oh, that's about all I can do. Boring. Dam's at the base of a mine, so I set broken bones all the time. Next time, I hope I get a patient I can get more excited about treating. That's creepy, but okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's broken finger, it seems. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me. I don't know what I would have what would have happened if you hadn't come. You all hadn't come along. It's okay. We're happy to help. Good thing we found you after the cave-in, which was definitely caused by somebody. It seems to me, on purpose by somebody. Well, what do you mean? I swear, I heard the sound of gunpowder exploding right before the group came down. Also, I heard human voices. I'm almost sure of it. Hmm, that cave was just to the right of the place to seal off the entrance. Could be part of somebody's plan. Hey, Ashley, that beeping a couple minutes ago. Try contacting Irving on the communicator. Oh, okay. One moment. Let me make a phone call. It's me, um, uh, Valeria Chateau, come in. Roger. Sorry, Roger. This is Valeria Chateau. Whoa! Hey, who is this? Oh, gosh! Don't scare me like that. Remember the calm voice and the childish voice? Oh, brother. I'm sorry if I frightened you. What on earth were they? Those were Kate and Amy. They're my operators. So, yeah, Kate and Amy are the ones that I wanted to try to remember the names of. Hello, this is Kate. Pleased to meet you. Maria, I'm Amy. Together we're A and K. Pleased to meet ya. Um, likewise, I'm sure. They're telepaths. Contact via Empathite would be impossible without them. Bad place to cut that off. They will be helping you from now on. Now, what did you want anyway? Oh yeah, um, you know that under traffic incident? Well, it wasn't an accident. It was intentional. Sure looks that way. Irving, what should we do? I want you to continue your search in the field. Roger. The under traffic haven might have been intentional. There might have been something there might be something in this town that can help us find out. Let's get started quick. Oh, I like it when patients let me do as I please. Creepy pedo pants is in the previous game, not in this one, thank you very much. Same text as before. That's not the button I wanted to hit. Haven't you run into a lot of these people who call them beasts rather than monsters lately? Dealing with these people is part of the job. The life of a merc is suffering. I wonder if I just need to go in here to talk about the telepath tower bits again. Sorry, but would you please listen to what the people of my family have to say? I did. I already talked to all of them. Nope. Darn it. I should have been reading that out. It was four people. They seemed very dangerous. I'd be careful of them if I were you. Can you say it again? Telepath Tower is a broadcast tower that uses Empathite to create communication waves. I don't know what they tr intend to do there, but I doubt it's anything good. Isn't it scary? South of Damson, I'm sorry, South of Damson is a broadcast tower called the Telepath Tower. My family's tended to it for generations. Actually, strange people are loitering about it there even now. It was my daughter's husband who found them, but he didn't tell us about them. Why not? I'll never know! Oh, hey look, I got a phone call again. It's me. What is your status? Well, we found out two things. One, in Damson City, we found out about a suspicious group. Two, they got into some sort of broadcasting tower called Telepath Tower. They may be involved in the cave bands. Those incidents could be the work of a single group. I want you to tail that group. Telepath Tower is vital. Without it, even these communicators would be worthless. 
Understood. We'll head out for Telepath Tower. All right. So at this point, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start grinding. Uh, yeah. I think it's start. It's time to start grinding here. So yeah, if you want to skip the rest of this, go right ahead. I'm not going to be doing much of anything else. I'm just going to grind up to level 9. Oh, this is going to take a while. 